Hello and good morning everybody to a new episode on the Agrarian Skies map. We have hey today. Sky, how's it going? Hello. We have today with us uh, in person in Avatar actually, Monsieur Ron, Monsieur Franchine, and um, <laughs> on the on a remote location, <laughs> Monsieur Ben. Yes. Hello. Hello, YouTube's. Yeah. So, um, you guys did a lot of stuff. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Just, uh, just a, a few cobblestone here and there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Tour me as Ben around. put it, a couple of spaceships landed. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Me. What do you want to see? Want, want to start with the park? Uh, yeah. Whatever you want to show me. All right. This is Pam's park. Yeah. It's got a dog. Uh, every once in a while, it, yep, it's got a few cats. Oh, it's Let's just to show off all of our, our fruit trees that we've gotten the rewards and haven't done anything with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The grass is still spreading, but I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> he made it. Okay, go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little biased. Enchanting area, do you have any levels you can use enchanting area? I have 13 levels. Oh. Look at my all my steel gear. Yeah. Alright, look good. Alright. Yes. Yeah, Alright, so this is our, our tech area. You, you ready for this? It's a little bit crowded. Uh yeah, I saw this uh on uh, one of uh, Ben's episodes where you like Ah, you, you watch Ben's channel, not mine. I, <laughs> I see how it is. When Understandable. He... Yeah. <laughs> 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 when you brought him up to speed and there was something here that didn't seem right um, at one it's point. It's got a few new things. Yeah, you moved around stuff. Yeah, but it all starts with the Ignis Extruder. Some of it goes into the crucibles to make lava. I've added a few more. We've got, what, nine now? Jeez. And the lava goes into the Tinker Smeltery. Mm -hmm. Some of it. And, yep. Some of it in this tank over here. Yep. And some powers the single little magmatic dynamo. Which is probably not enough for the number of machines I have now, but oh well. Um, some of the gobble is being pulverized into gravel and putting autonomous activated into this sieve. Mm -hmm. Some of it now is this a little bit different. It's going through three pulverizers to go from gravel to sand to dust. <laughs> okay, so you don't have the the hammer system. Yeah. Well, the hammer system is moved to do something else now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But so we've got the sand and the dust going in there. Each of these now has two autonomous activators, so they go pretty fast. Um, some of the sand goes in this chest in case I need it to make glass. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, hello. <it's> <laughs> Welcome. I just thought I'd jump in real quick. Looking snazzy in your red tie. Yep, that's, you know, business <laughs> casual. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Okay, so then I've got two cyclic assemblers over here. These are new Whoa. since Ben's been on. But the, the first has recipes for all of the... Um, broken ores, and the second one has recipes for all the crushed ores. Oh, wow. Wow. So if you go over here and you just grab like a, a stack, let's see, we've got a. There's not a lot anymore because I processed almost it all, but let's get all the uh, crushed iron. I got six stacks of it here. I put okay, it in. So... This, is, this is not automated yet, but you just throw it here in the left right. one. And then you select the iron schematic, put it up there, and boom, there it goes. Wow. That's and quick. And then, then it just gonna... gets cycled into here, huh? Yeah. So we could put our diamond uh, hammer in here if we wanted to, but I don't know if it's really needed. <laughs> not really. I mean, since we're not standing there doing it, I think Right. whatever quality is fine. Nice, yeah. nice. So oh, you got a lot of Kendall powered crucibles now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I needed more lava. I was running out. So. These uh, cyclic assemblers are basically the things from uh, factorization, where you had the recipe and 
it yeah. ma- made that recipe into the so what was it a staple or something I, I don't remember uh, yeah there's a number of mods that have done similar things thermal expansion ones takes power which is a little interesting mm-hmm. and then you have to select which recipe so it's not it's going to be difficult to automate unless i do 18 cyclic assemblers which i don't think i want to do yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well that would that doesn't sound fun yeah, I think it's more of, oh, we're running low on iron, let's go grab all 20 stacks of iron and process them through, yeah. or something like that, you know? Okay, so wait, you take the broken one? Yeah, the broken ones go on the right, like the top barrel, top row of barrels would go in the right one if you're looking this way. Okay, wait, the top row goes in the right one for yeah. lead for the gravels it says on okay. the re- on the recipes it says iron broken silver broken whatever yeah, broken. right right I, I just was trying to make sure i was getting the right mm-hmm. so you put broken lead in there there it goes there we go mm. nice okay <laughs> and it'll go up into either it'll go directly into the thomas activator or the barrel or i mean the topper or into the chest if you overflow gotcha so yeah, I was I was processing like forty stacks of the stuff earlier. <laughs> I had no problem. Yeah, that's that's a really fast setup too. Oh yeah, it breaks it quick. And as you see on the bottom row, we have like what forty five stacks of iron. Each of those makes two ingots, so we have ninety stacks of iron ingots. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess divided by four. Yeah, I don't know. So from one dust you get two iron? Or wait, it, one dust makes half an iron, sorry. One dust mes- makes half an iron? Yeah, because you take four to make a dust, and that would make two ingots. <laughs> Maths! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so from one iron dust you get... No, one dust equals one iron ingot. I'm looking at the recipe right now. That's a different dust. That's a, it's applied energetics dust? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dusty. No, it's the same dust. I don't know. Get, get one, get stacks. one from there, come on. So, what do you use it for? So, these bottom rows of barrels, a lot of them are like half full. Yeah. That's I haven't crazy. automated that part. You gotta go put that into... Tinker smeltery. But once you put it in there, all of the rest of like the ingot what? making is it'll, it'll it. make ingots. Yep. What? Yeah. Like what? Here's Thirty-two silver. Bonk. There it goes. Oh man. So from four dust, you get one ingot. Two ingots, because the smeltery will double it. Oh. 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 Okay. So it's. So you half it, half the the. Um, Amount you have in here, and that gives you the amount of iron. You just break it into yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, but we've dope. got, I've got a few new barrels to hold the other stuff, and we've got plenty. We could definitely do applied logistics with the number of certus we have. Mm-hmm. Okay, to the next area. <laughs> you, you didn't see my beautiful little cobble what, or what, uh, what, what? obsidian generator. What? Do you got a bucket of water? Uh, no. Oh. Well, you put a bucket of water in here, and then you just click on the barrels, and it makes obsidian. Whoa. Because it's lava, lava in there now, and it's... And yeah. you just right-click it, and you get obsidian yep. without any pick? No pick, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Not OP at all, not OP. Yep. At all. <laughs> I mean, this beautiful carpenter That's slopes. That's a cool feature. Lava without candle, you know? Yep. And if you ever need a furnace or a smelter, they're right there. Induction smelter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, back over here. Tree farm next. Tree farm. Okay. Yeah, Ben and I made one, and I expanded it to two. Do you have any more leaves? Uh, yeah, you have. Oh, there's plenty of leaves. I don't think we need any more dirt. <laughs> there's four <laughs> sides. <laughs> wow. So, planters underneath, one is doing oak, one is doing rubber. The harvesters will grab that and bring it downstairs. Watch your step. Watch my step, watch my... I, I, I'm <laughs> still uh, used to 1.7 when you, where you have a key to sprint. 
Oh, yeah. So, rubber yeah. rubber right. comes out of the harvester and goes... Uh, all the rubber wood will go into the furnace. And it gives them the charcoal, right? Yeah, and the charcoal will go into the steam dynamo. Any extra uh, charcoal will go just up to the barrels and chests. Mm -hmm. Through this dense pipe, so it's like the secondary thing. Mm -hmm. There's aqueous accumulator to give it water for the steam. What else? Um, what is that? The saplings will come back down and Sludge go into boiler. The, yeah. Don't go too close, you get poison. Yeah. It's the piping's a little bit nuts, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't. And the slush boiler. That's uh, the best way for it to look. Yeah, <laughs> it's industrial, and up here it's all clean. That's that's the good part, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we get saplings here. We get the, the oak wood in here. We get all the stuff from the sludge barrel yeah, plus yeah, the rubber, yeah. which we probably have too much now. I think I need a barrel, and all the extra charcoal the thing generates. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then all the junk from the sludge boiler. You get peat from forestry? Wow. Yep, you get a little bit of peat. That's nice. And then this is just our dirt generator that we had earlier. I moved mm -hmm. it over here. <laughs> cool deal. Oh, Ben, you'll be happy to know our carrot farm is generating positive energy now. <laughs> it is. So it's, it's yes. generating enough power to actually give us carrots? Yeah, we've actually got an extra stack of carrots. <laughs> One whole stack. <laughs> yeah. Well, because now the generator has a stack ready, and then there's two stacks down in the planter itself. How does this guy get water, the aqueous? Aqueous accumulators generate water on their own very slowly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is this turned on, the sprinkler? It is, but there's no bone mill in there, so it's not really doing much other than keeping it hydrated. Okay. Am I happy? Do, do I have the like the particles? No, no, it's all I on. can't. I can't see the particles either. I don't know why. Yeah, it's weird. I put that some... works in in single player. It works fine for me. I don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just a bug with the particles. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, our harvester takes carrots, feeds some of them to the culinary generator, and then the rest go downstairs to be planted again or into the barrel if we have extra. <laughs> so How much... we can do. The... Go ahead. I was going to say, we could do the same with the wheat and the potatoes. Uh, how much does the, the culinary generator generate? Uh, RFs or MJs? It's RFs, and I think it was 20, or was it 10, for 8 seconds with a carrot, or 4 seconds? It's pretty pathetic. Because <laughs> it works on the strength of the food, so ah, carrots are uh -huh. crappy. Mm -hmm. Like if you put like toast in there or, or spaghetti, it'll do it better. So they basically stole the idea from factorization? I guess, yeah. Oh, the caloric converter, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, stolen, inspired by, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here, we got mycelium and nether warts. Um, why, what do you use uh, the witch water for? If you put sand in here, you get soul sand in the barrel. Soul sand, okay, nice. And I kept saying netherrack in the last episode, I meant soul sand. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was obvious once we made some. <laughs> and then I improved the mob farm because our chest was overflowing. Um, I added two new spawning areas, so you don't have to go up there to AFK. Mm -hmm. So they spawn pretty quick if you just stand here. The okay. armored zombies don't die. It's not far enough, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Ah. But oh, I yeah, see, I got see. Okay. barrels and barrels of stuff now. Nice. And then the last monstrosity flying up in the air there. Yep, that's a new one. Is um is for blood magic. I haven't added any blood magic stuff to it. It's just place. Whoa! Whoa! Don't fall off. Whoa! This is so awesome. <laughs> I wanted to use I wanted to use chisel and wow. a lot, dude. Ooh, ooh! By the way, add me to the book. You are added to the book. You haven't accepted my invite yet. Uh, okay. How to <laughs> to start? Oh, lives two party. You have one party invite. Click here to open party window. Party name. You invite artisans. 
owner. Accept. <laughs> now we have 11 lives. There Yay! you go. Thank you. Nice. I'm going to go jump off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Close shift to Suicide party. Well, Ben ate the, the rotten heart last time. Yeah. So it's a party. <laughs> I had to know. What does it, it do? Yeah. It just takes a life. That's all. All right, so, guys. Well, whoa, and I fell a little ways. There we go. <laughs> We're okay. That wasn't the void. <laughs> yep. Um, I got to get going. All right. If you have so, any time before we record next, you should get some armor because we're going to the nether. All right. Cool. I'll catch so you guys later. So you make some steel or iron. Yep. All right. See yeah. you, Ben. Ciao. Actually, I have to go too. Sounds good. Go get some sleep. Yeah. So thank you very much for the tour, good sir. Um, I have no idea where to get our ar oh, armor. We get from uh, where from there, right? Woo, woo. Uh, down bottom left chair, uh, chest is all of our ingots. Whoa, awesome! And then in this little tiny one has a, some components that I've just built and had mm -hmm. leftovers. So mm -hmm. check there first if you need stuff. <laughs> Did uh, Ben uh, start on bees? <laughs> <laughs> um, he put some bees down, but I've now put my altar above his oh, bees. Oh, man. So <laughs> but bees are going to suck without buildcraft and ender IO. Um, I don't know. I don't You're going to have to use item ducks. And item ducks, yeah. A lot of servos. True. It's not, it's not so, so different. Uh, I mean, the way well, I do it. Gates just make it so easy to know, like, when to pull stuff out or not. Yeah, that's right. Can, uh, is the item duct actually pulling out uh, the, the like, the queen? You just have to configure it and be really careful with your MBT settings and all that oh, stuff. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's going to be a pain. <laughs> so no bees for this series. Got it. Uh, okay, so thank you very much, good sir, for the tour of the, uh, how do you say in English, encampment of the surroundings. We will see you in the next episode, hopefully. Cool. There's <laughs> yeah. enough moss stone in there if you need repair on one of your items. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, I think I have on my uh, axe, maybe. I have haste on it. Don't know if I have another uh, slot though for. Um, Throw it in there and find out. But... Yeah. Okay. Cool. So. See you later. Don't sleep in. Bye bye, internet. Oh 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 oh! How do I end my episodes? I always forget. Please don't rate. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, everybody. Uh, ciao. Ciao. Don't forget to be awesome. <laughs> ciao. Ciao. <laughs>